What is going on guys? Clay here back at it again with yet another edition of Pantherology. Still on that free agency train. I got you my top free agent wide receivers I think the Carolina Panthers should target. Like I said, I'm kind of repeating myself, but I kind of want to let other people know if other people have not watched the other videos. But to let them know that these people that I am picking is based off of our cap space. And I'm going in to see who we can afford based off of how much money we have and how much value they are worth. Um, so, let's dive right into today's video. Now, in free agency, the Panthers are looking at a few wide receiver alternatives. Um, so, with DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson, the Panthers were regarded to have one of the most explosive receiving tandems in the NFL entering the 2021 season. Now, Anderson never connected with new Jets quarterback Sam Darnold for whatever reason, and despite having played with him uh, previously with the Jets, so <laughs> even if the Panthers have a terrible 20. 21 you know year you know even though they did i don't anticipate them to make a huge move at what receiver considering the other key gaps on the squad that need to be filled which i'll definitely get into more detail but the depth at receiver on the other hand is a concern and now aside from anderson the panthers have terrace marshall shy smith both of whom saw little action as rookies Brandon Zystra, who is slated to be uh, become a free agent, so but he isn't anticipated to be a game changer receiver. So with minimal cap space, I can see Carolina pursuing an an expensive third option who can, you know, really cover various roles. And one person comes to mind, and that is Braxton Berrios. Now. Braxton Berrios is an excellent fit for this team. Um, he has expertise in returning punts and kicks and can even contribute offensively. So this would be a significant improvement over, I think, Alex Erickson, who returned punts and was buried on the uh, depth chart at receiver last season. Now, Erickson wasn't horrible, but Berrios was an all-pro for a reason. Another name that comes to mind to me is Jakeem Grant. Now, if Barrios isn't interested, Jakeem Grant is another receiver who fits that similar model. Now, Grant has spent his whole career as a punt slash kick returner and has excelled at it. He has returned 119 punts for 1,228 yards and four touchdowns, as well as uh, 110 kicks for 2,699 yards and two touchdowns. So, interesting choice there. Another person that comes to mind to me is Khalif uh, Raymond. Now, Raymond has uh, predominantly uh, a returner for the first four years of his career. He was able to show what he can do as a receiver this past season uh, in Detroit where he had a reasonable, you know, good season with 48 graphs or 567 yards and four touchdowns and another very viable possibility for that number three four receiver slash returner so adam humphreys is another name that comes to mind to me as well throughout his nfl career humphreys has been a reliable number three four option for the tampa bay buccaneers uh and the tennessee titans and the washington common commanders can't believe i'm saying that now now humphreys has averaged 45.7 catches for about 473 yards and about a touchdown per season throughout his seven-year career now he catches over about 70 percent of his targets and is mostly employed in the panthers underneath passing game something they desperately needed in 2021 so that's why i would bring him in now last but not least i think zach pascal is another person to keep in mind. The Panthers need a big, tough passing threat until Terrace Marshall Jr. can be counted on. I think Pascal, who is 6'2", 214 pounds, may be that guy. So many people thought Pascal might develop into that number one, number two uh, receiver earlier in, in his career. Unfortunately, the inconsistencies have 
you know, plagued him along the road, but perhaps a change of environment would be beneficial for him. So guys, that is today's video. Those are my top free agent wide receivers that I think the Carolina Panthers should target. Make sure you pound that like button, uh, pound that subscribe button. Those are the two things I can only ask. Feel free to comment down below uh, amongst yourselves. Uh, and make sure you click that post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. Going to be consistent, guys. As always, before I leave you, keep pounding.